guys, this is Manu Kalia, physical therapist and I the herbalist. So this video is uh, a continuation of our, some of our videos uh, where I've discussed about various knee injuries and problems. This particular video, I'm going to talk about what you want to think about when you are uh, designing your strengthening program, uh, whether you're, when you're recovering from those injuries uh, or if you are trying to improve your performance or just do better at uh, um, certain sports or running or cycling or anything. Uh, and this is just not limited to knee injuries. This applies to all sorts of uh, problems. Uh, it could be low back problems, it could be hip problems. Um, to give you the, uh, the framework, how you're thinking of uh, designing your rehab or your specifically the strengthening part of the rehab program. And we're, I'm going to talk about one component of that in this video. Uh, and what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about core stability or strength. What does it mean? What does it mean just when you say core strength or core stability? What area are we talking about? So specifically what we're discussing is we're discussing midsection area we're talking about. But more specifically, we're, gonna, we're going into uh, the deeper muscles which are responsible for giving uh, strength, stability uh, to your low back and in your midsection in this whole region. And we're talking about your deep stabilizers. That's what we're talking about, which are uh, giving support, stability, and dynamic control to your spine. Okay. So we're talking about transversus abdominis, which are layers, deeper layers of your uh, abdominal muscles. We're talking about your multifidi, which are low back muscles. We're talking about your pelvic floor muscle. We're talking about your diaphragm. We're talking about this, your natural corset, which covers this whole midsection, and which not only gives it the stability and support, but it also gives it that, that dynamic control to, uh, to stabilize your base before you initiate a movement. So you can perform a movement more effectively. So proximal stability before distal mobility. Okay, so what it basically means is stabilizing the proximal area, this midsection, before you start to do something away from your body. So before I initiate a movement, I kick a ball, I reach for something, I need to stabilize my core, my midsection, so I can perform that movement effectively. Otherwise, it's going to be a poor movement pattern and I won't be able to perform that movement effectively. The extensions will not be able to work properly unless the base is stable and secure. Okay, so think about it that way. So when you're thinking of designing that rehab program, you want to focus on working on that midsection and that core. And it's not just necessarily the muscle size or the strength of those muscles. More than that, it, had, it has to do with the timing of those muscles. So the motor control and the neuromuscular control that needs to take place, these muscles need to fire and stabilize my spine and my midsection before I initiate a movement. Okay. Now some of these patterns are built into our system. We learn these as, as, as kids. But following an injury, poor habits, uh, poor postures, they stop working properly. Okay, the, the timing, the coordination goes off in addition to getting weaker too. So for example, low back injuries or pain will usually shut down a lot of these muscles. They won't be firing as effectively. So not only do they get atrophied or weak, but also they, the timing is off, the motor control is off. They don't fire before I decide, before I reach and uh, decide to reach forward and grab something or before I go from sit to stand or before I uh, um, kick a ball or run. Right? And which causes you know, low back problems or other injuries to continue, they, they have to persist because that timing and that control is not there in the system anymore. Okay? So that's, that's why you have to work on these muscles, your core stabilizers first, before we start to hit work on other groups. I mean, you can do things simultaneously, but this needs to happen also. This needs to happen actually first to, to build that base before you start to really focus on uh, uh, the extensions, the other muscles. Okay. 
And when, I, when we're talking about core stability, we're not necessarily talking about you know, your six pack, how many sit ups can I do? Those are a lot of your prime movers, the muscles that move my trunk up and down, sideways, and do all those things. Yes, they're important too. They also give strength and stability and hold, uh, uh, hold your posture up. But the deeper muscles are the ones that are a bit more important that's what we want to focus on first. Okay? So the program should be geared towards working on your stabilizers first, those muscles first, and then you progress to working on your prime movers. It might be your rectus, which are your obliques, um, and from your back, you know, a lot of your other back muscles like your lats, your other rectospinal muscles, all these other muscles next. And then, of course, working on the, the outer muscle groups, right? So, of your extensions. So, your, uh, uh, whether you're working on your hip or glute muscles, your thigh muscles, and all these other things. Okay? So, so, when you're planning your program, always focus on this section first, and then you work your way out from there. And not just strength, we're thinking about uh, motor control, timing of these muscles, right? And a lot of, this, and a lot of that has to. Uh, is trained by awareness, not just while you're doing the exercise, but also postures, right? Just because I can, you know, you might go spend a half hour, an hour doing your strengthening exercises, but for the rest of the uh, eight, 10 hours a day, you're hanging out on your computer screen like this. So that one hour of work, uh, workout and working on strengthening muscles sometimes doesn't translate over to poor postures for eight, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. So it's the awareness of maintaining those good postures, whether I'm going from sit to stand, whether I'm sitting, whether I'm uh, picking up something off the ground, whether I'm bending to grab something off the floor. All those things need to be incorporated in order for you to have better success in training a lot of these muscles. Okay? So if I'm strong through here, what's my base is strong, it's much easier to work on all these extensions. And as I said, this is essential to work on this even if I have that knee problem that's going on. Because I gotta have a strong core for my extensions to work effectively. Okay. So um, keep, keep some of these principles in mind and uh, refer to some of the videos I have on core stability. And I'll be posting new stuff for you guys too. So a lot of these concepts I'm gonna be discussing in our uh, program. Uh, go to the site and sign up for it. it it's a holistic approach to treating chronic knee issues and it, it has not only physical therapy exercise science solutions with uh, mobility strength exercises soft tissue mobilization techniques massage techniques but also the holistic perspective where i discuss a lot of uh, herbal formulas we go over um, dietary solutions so yoga there are a lot of things in that program it's a very uh, it's a comprehensive program to addressing a lot of those uh, common knee related issues. So uh, make sure you uh, check it out and please share the video uh, if you think some other people might find it helpful. And uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you have a question.